So we already talked about split tunneling earlier, how we, when we create this VPN connection, a tunnel is created, and the question is, will all traffic be sent to the tunnel or just traffic destined for the subnets that are on our internal LAN? And then any other traffic, like if this client was trying to access google.com, it won't, will not go through the tunnel. It'll just go through the normal internet connection of this VPN client. And again, that makes for a faster response for the VPN client because the traffic doesn't have to go all the way through the tunnel, then back out to the internet, then back down through the internet, then back out through the tunnel to get to the VPN client. But by default, all traffic is sent through the tunnel. So let's take a look at how that works. Okay, I'm on my Windows 10 VPN client here. Let's just open up a command prompt here as an admin. And I'm gonna type in ipconfig all. So we can see the current connection. It's not currently connected to the VPN here. So it's got an IP address 172.16.1.50. So it's out there on the internet. Uh, the default gateway is 172.16.1.1 and there's no other connections. So right now, all the traffic goes out through the internet. Now let's connect the VPN client to the VPN. All right, I'll just go back here, click connect. Okay, it's connected. Now let's do another IP config all and take a look at the difference. So this is all the same here, the, the ethernet network adapter, but we also have this PPP adapter connected to work. Our connect to work is the name of the connection. And you can see it has the IP address of 192.168.6.144 that was handed out by the DHCP server on our network. There's the subnet mask and the default gateway is actually 0.0.0.0. .0. So in order to understand what this means, we actually have to do a route print. This shows us the routing table on this particular machine, this Windows 10 machine. So in our routing table, when we have a network destination of 0.0.0.0, .0 that's your default gateway. What that means is any traffic that doesn't have a specific route for it, basically send it out this, whatever this default gateway specifies. And we have two here. And when you have two, the metric decides which one is used. So the lower the metric number, the it's gonna be used first. So this 26 is gonna be used first and 4240 is gonna be used next. So this line here means on link. And what interface is it? It's 192.168.6.144. So that's our tunnel. So any traffic that we don't have a specific route for is going to be sent through this tunnel. So that's why by default, all traffic is sent through the tunnel. And it, to see where this is configured, if we go to our network connections, let's look at our VPN connection, connect to work. Let's go to properties of it. Networking, let's go to IP version four, go to properties here, advanced. This is what sets that uh, new default gateway up. Use default gateway on remote network. So when this is checked, all traffic goes through the tunnel. Now let's take a look at what happens when we uncheck it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck it, click OK, click OK again, and click OK. It let's me know since it's currently active, settings won't take effect until we disconnect and reconnect. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to our settings here. I'm gonna disconnect, and we'll go ahead and reconnect. And now let's do, if we do an IP config, space slash all, let's take a look at that first. So this is all the same on our ethernet adapter. Let's look at our VPN connection. You can see it no longer has a default gateway here. And if we do a route print, we can see in our routing table, that other default gateway entry where it routed all the traffic through the tunnel is no longer there. Now the default gateway is our 172.16.1.1, which is the normal internet interface or the normal internet gateway. It's not the tunnel. So what forces the traffic through the tunnel then? Well, this routing entry is normally here, whether or not we configure it in DHCP or not. This 192.168.6.0. That means anything destined for this particular subnet should be sent to this gateway, 192.168.6.149. And it's sent out the interface 192.168.6.143, which is the IP address that it grabbed from our DHCP server. It's the IP address for our VPN on this client. So what is this .149? Where did that come from? 
Well, let's take a look at that. Let's go over to our VPN server. Okay, I've got a PS session here in the VPN 01. And let's just do an IP config space slash all. And there it is, 192.168.6.149. This is the PPP adapter RAS dial-in interface. So where did it get that? Well, it grabbed it from DHCP, actually. This is not something I, I, was con I configured on my VPN server. So it grabbed that IP address for, from DHCP, and it's using it as its dial-in interface. So back to our client here. You'll notice there's these extra routes, and these are what we configured when we configured DHCP option 121. This 192.168.7.0, it's telling it any traffic destined for this subnet to be sent out our uh, VPN interface, out our tunnel. And same with this 192.168.8.0 line here, same thing. And again, those are there because of our scope options that we configured on our DHCP server 121 for these two routes. Otherwise, those routes wouldn't show up if we didn't configure it for DHCP, but the route for the 192.168.6 route would be there. Please see part five of this YouTube playlist where we go deeper into how the routing actually works when we're using split tunneling with VPN client connections.